வெல்கம் ஐ எம் கௌரி அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் இன் த டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் இசிஇ ஃப்ரம் கேஐடி டுடே ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அ டாபிக் அபவுட் பயோமெடிக்கல் ரெக்கார்டர்ஸ் இன் திஸ் பயோமெடிக்கல் ரெக்கார்டர்ஸ் கோயிங் டு டீடெயில் டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் இசிஜி அண்ட் பிசிஜி பிஃபோர் கோயிங் டு த இசிஜி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வி ஷுட் நோ அபவுட் த வாட் இஸ் பயோ பொட்டென்ஷியல்ஸ் பயோ பொட்டென்ஷியல் மீன்ஸ் த எலக்ட்ரிக் பொட்டென்ஷியல் மெஷர்ட் பிட்வீன் அ living cells tissues and organisms and it is also used to transfer the informations between and within the cells so cell is the basic living unit of the human body so the each organ in our human body consists of different cells and each type of cells are responsible for one particular function that's the entire body contains 100 trillion cells in this 100 trillion cells the 25 trillion red blood cells are transport oxygen from lungs to tissues generally the structure of cell cannot be seen by naked eye but it can viewed only by biological microscope so the bio potential are generated at the cellular level so the each cell consists of nucleus so in this nucleus it is separated by sep- cytoplasm by nuclear membrane then with the help of electrodes only the bioelectric potential can be measured so f- from this the high quality bio potential measurements requires a good amplifier design so with the help of a uh, good amplifier design the biometric potentials are measured and then the use of good electrodes in the proper placement of patient is the main point so the good laboratory and clinical practices some of the laboratories are poor in the measurement of bioelectric potential but uh, good laboratory and clinical practices only the high quality bio potential measurements are uh, required the electrodes can be choose according to the application if we use surface electrode it will be useful for heart muscles then if we use depth and needle electrode means it will be measure of cerebrum of the brain then surface electrodes are also used for heart muscles activity of the brain then corneal retinal potential variations the basic electrode structures are include the body and casings the electrode made of high conductivity material then wire connector cavity or similar for electrolytic gel with the help of electrolytic gel the electrode and bio potential are measured the adhesive rim the complexity of electrode design can be neglected now we are going to see the topic about ecg so before that ecg we already known about that what is my bio potential and what is in electrodes so now here they measure the electrical activity of the heart muscles so the recorded ecg waveform is known as electrocardiography and the recorded waveform ins- uh, instrument is termed as electrocardiogram the ecg gives the valuable information about the cardiac disorder now we are going to see the cross section of the heart in this cross section of the heart the heart is divided into four chambers they are tricuspid valve bicuspid valve pulmonary valve aortic valve so the right atrioventricular valve is located between the right atrium and right ventricle it prevents backward blood flow from right ventricle to right atrial then left atrioventricular valve it is located between left atrium and left ventricle so it is prevents backward blood flow from left ventricle to left atrium and the pulmonary valve the pulmonary valve is located at the right ventricle it has three half moon shaped cups it does not allow blood flow to come back to the right ventricle then aortic valve then aortic valve is located between right ventricle sorry left ventricle and aorta 
but it does not allow the blood to come back to the left ventricle. In this heart, it consists of three layers, namely pericardium, endocardium, myocardium. The pericardium is an outer layer of the heart. It keeps the outer surface and prevents the heart from friction. Friction means it uh, creates some noise. So pro to prevent the friction, the endocardium layer is the inner layer of the heart. It provides smooth path for blood flow and myocardium. It is the middle layer of the heart. It acts as a main muscle of heart. It is made up of short cylindrical fibers. Blood vessels. Blood vessels are hollow tubes through which the blood is carried through the various parts of the body. There are two types of blood vessels. Arteries and veins. So in this arteries, there are thick walled vessels used to carry the oxygenated blood away from the heart and capillaries are small blood vessels in this heart pumps the blood by the moment termed as a heartbeat the pulmonary circulation is impure blood flow from right ventricle to the lungs through the pulmonary artery so in this the blood is oxygenated the pure blood flows to the left atrium through pulmonary vein the systematic circulations are the blood flow from left atrium is pumped to the left ventricle. The blood is pumped from left ventricle to the all parts of our body through the aorta and the branches. Then the ECG. So the ECG are largest measurement error sources. So in this, the motion artifacts is the main limitation facts. The typical applications are arrhythmia, conduction defects. So this uh, amplitude can be measured between 1 to 5 millivolts. In the bandwidth measurements are 0.05 to 100 hertz. So these are the waveforms for normal sinus rhythm and arterial defibrillation and AV block. So the ECG is an electrical activity of the heart, mainly used for electrical activity in regarding heart sounds. So it also used in catheterization laboratories, coronary care units and routine diagnostic applications in cardiology. So mainly the lead are used as a measuring instrument. So the two electrodes are placed over different areas of the heart. So the electro different electrodes can be placed according to the application. So the resulting tracing of voltage difference at any size due to the electrical activity of the heart. The effect of artifacts. So we already known about artifacts. Artifacts means so some noise. Now the 12 lead ECG measurements are studied about. The most widely used ECG measurement setup in clinical environment. So the signal can be measured non-invasively with 9 electrodes. So the 9 electrodes are used with Enthoven triangle. So it well known measurement and diagnostic practices. So it uh, Enthoven leads means using 2 electrodes. So the final output is taken as difference of electric potential between these electrodes. So these are the 90% of hot electric activity can be explained with the dipole source model. So the 12 lead system does to some extent the enhanced pattern recognition and gives the clinician a few more projections to choose from. But if there was no legacy problem with current system, the 12 lead system should have been discarded ages ago. So these are the ECG construction and theories. Now we are going to see the topic about PCG. PCG means phonocardiogram. So the phonocardiogram in this the graphic record heart sound. So in this the recording the sounds connected with the pumping action of the heart. So the sound from the heart can be called as phonocardiogram. In this the instrument used to measure this are called phonocardiograph 
so the basic function is to pick up the different hot sound and filter the required and display so in this the two categories hot sound and murmurs so in this hot sound the transient characteristics with short duration that is the closing and opening of valves normally we are saying that the opening of the tricuspid and bicuspid valve and the mitral valve so in this murmurs can be defined as noisy characteristics the noisy characteristics means some the closing and opening of the noise sound are called noisy characteristics with long duration turbulent blood flow in the heart so the origin of sound is valve closure and the movement of heart wall then valve opening then extra cardiac sound so in this frequency ranges low range mid range and high range so the this ranges are can be calculated in amplitude quality also measured first sound closer of mitral valve and tricuspid valve second sound the closer of atrium and pulmonary valve the third and fourth are low intensity and low inaudible so the heart among children the third sounds can be blood rapidly movement into relaxed ventricular chambers so it's mainly heard in the children the fourth sound are atrial contraction so microphones for pcg crystal microphone dynamic microphones writing methods are used as light beam galvanometer direct writing recorders techniques in this the fans air conditioners and other noise producing gadgets will result in artifact on the recording so some external noise will create a, some artifacts so the hot sound can be like this waveform so in this s1 uh, can be ventricular contraction then s2 can be s2 will be a uh, closer of the semi lunar valves s3 is ventricular gallop and s4 atrial gallop so the other are opening snap ejection sound so in this they are murmur sound the recording setup so in this microphone the microphone uh, in this the sound can be converted into electrical so the electrical sound can be amplified with the help of filter so the filter can be reduced unwanted signals from the amplifier and it will be given to the monitor scope so the ecg electrode measures the electric signals and it given to the ecg amplifier finally it given to the fm tape recorder so the monitor scope and fm tape recorder compared with the measurement signal and it will be uh, monitored and recorded so the medical applications are rheumatic valvular lesions murmur of the aortic stenosis murmur of aortic regurgitation murmur of mitral regurgitation murmurs of mitral stenosis the special application of pcg or fetal pcg esophageal tracheal so this are the ecg and pcg construction and recording methods so thank you for listening this video if you li like this please subscribe them